water and going back up. <laughs> oh, they must be they must be eating like the small fishes at the top. It's lunch time. I haven't seen each other in a long time and I promise you I'm gonna give you that explanation today but I need to take care of something real quick Drop these things and then I'm gonna give you the story. It's not a pretty one. Somebody there? Later. Hello. All right, leave the stuff at the house. Took me a little bit longer. Uh, I needed to charge the camera, and I want to take a moment uh, in the house with nothing. But like I said, I was gonna promise you why I've been so long. I was be missing. But like I said, I was gonna tell you why I've been missing all this time. Let's go. Alright, so this is probably gonna be a long section of the video, uh, so bear with me. Um, this is something that you haven't seen in blogs because it's just part of my life that I didn't want to show up in this blog or like 
that will be like that will be like the best explanation for it it's just that um okay let's just get to it um a part of me that you don't know and you haven't seen in this video is that for the longest time i was a smoker uh or yeah i was a smoker i've been like smoking cigarettes or was smoking cigarettes so i decided that i was gonna stop smoking that i didn't want to smoke anymore and that's it like it was it was a long run and everything and like um it wasn't good for me i just i just I just wanted to stop smoking. Uh, the last 5th of July, sorry, um, dude, I was at the pool and I started feeling like like this thing on my throat, like if I have a lump in my throat. It didn't bother me to eat or to drink or to breathe or anything like that, but I feel like I have a lump, like, like, like a golf ball or something like that inside of my throat. Dude, I got like super scared. I got like nervous and everything. Leslie told me like chill out that it was just like, withdrawals of, ne of nicotine and stuff like that and but for some reason I didn't thought it was that I I thought it was something else and and dude the first thing that came into my mind is like I have throat cancer I have throat cancer I have something going on something's not right so um, after that I decided to like schedule an appointment with an ENT uh, that's that's a doctor for your nose, your, your your nose, your throat, and your ears thing. He told me like he didn't see anything growing. He did see like my larynx was a little bit red, and that he thought it was because of reflux. There is this type of reflux that is called silent reflux. Uh, so he told me that he didn't saw anything, but in order to disregard everything, I should take like a barium swallow test. Uh, the doctor didn't give me that much confidence, but he told me like everything was good. He was he was reading my chart without having my results. He was just like, uh, yeah, I saw your results, but I don't have the chart with me. And it was my appointment for my consultation, so he can read the results. And he's like, I don't have the results with me, but I know that you're fine. The barium swallow test didn't show anything. So I decided to like grab, go uh, grab the results of that. And like my next step was gonna be visit, visit, visiting a gastroenterologist. Uh, he told me that every he looks like everything was fine with me. And the doctor scheduled me to have an my gastroenterologist scheduled me to have an endoscopy. Can I get endoscopy today? And I end up doing that. Uh, it was my first time that I was gonna be like under anesthesia they put me i have to wear a gown and everything they put they inject me some anesthesia i fell asleep and when i woke up everything was good the lady was like okay i'm gonna put you the anesthesia and i was like okay i'm starting to feel and when i woke up everything was done i have to wait one week after that uh for the results to be ready and my results were read to me yesterday uh, yesterday the doctor checked in my endoscopy and he said he saw that there was nothing wrong that everything was fine but I can move on from this and dude that was great that was a great news it, um, but yeah um, it was just dude like that's the reason why I wasn't like making videos or anything like that I took videos like there was a bunch of things that happened from 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 the last video that you saw till today uh, we have our our engagement party <laughs> So this is where, where it kind of went up until mm, five years ago or so. Because something happened. <laughs> Leslie met Lewis. <laughs> and look at this. like Leslie's parents throw was an amazing party at their at their place it was really good like all of our friends came and yeah I was celebrating like celebrating us <laughs> regarding myself like uh, what I've been feeling dude is just like a little a little a little bit of pressure in my throat from time to time that that I don't know why I have that it's so weird um, a lot of doctors say that I, what I have was like silent reflux, but like when I read on the on the on the symptoms that other people have compared to mine, they feel like a constant burning in their throat. I don't feel that. Like thank God. Yeah, I haven't feel like anything worse than that. Um, I've been changing my diet, even though I don't think I have, we have a bad diet. I've been trying to like drink more water and like eat more fiber and stuff like that. Just trying to just trying to keep it like healthy. 
good news is like I haven't been smoking since since what um, I went on a patch for two weeks and then I decided to, to take that so I've been like five I've been since without smoking since July 16 but I've been nicotine free like like four or five weeks something like that uh, and it's been great everything by the book I haven't been smoking I've been paying more attention to my to my uh, health and stuff uh, Leslie and I woke up now every morning to go out, to go out for walks. Uh, we have breakfast together every morning. I didn't used to have breakfast. Uh, so yeah, I've been taking care more of myself. Um, I'm still feeling like I'm still feeling like that pressure on my throat. Even like right now when I was coming here, I feel it. I just decided to like, you know what? If it's not, it's cancer. But yeah, I've been still feeling like that pressure on my throat. But I decided like, you know what? I'm not gonna let it ruin our uh, our lives uh, because like dude I've been putting Leslie through the ringer she's been she's been with me throughout all this time so yeah dude that's the reason why I was disappeared throughout all this time I'm sorry that I didn't make any videos or like post anything like dude nothing I haven't been post anything since July 5th or I think I don't know I just posted like one one tag that like hey I've been, I've been smoke free for a month now uh, that was like my only tag I hope I'm gonna start posting more. Um, one thing that is coming is like tomorrow we are leaving again to Yosemite. Uh, we're going for one week. Uh, we're gonna go with Bill and Audrey with us Monday through Wednesday. And then on Thursday, on Thursday do we have our first big climb. We're gonna climb this thing that is 500 feet or something around that, around 500 feet with a guy. The guy is gonna take us up and he's gonna show us like the ropes. And I'm gonna ask him a lot of questions. It's gonna be a busy week. Uh, I'm not gonna be making, I'm not gonna be uploading any videos, but I'm sure I'm gonna upload something after I come back. I'm sorry that I've been gone through all this time. Uh, sorry for this, how can I say? This is. This hasn't been like the best video that I have made, or this hasn't been like the happiest video I have made, but what happened to me it was like something real dude like I got scared big time that I was gonna die that I was gonna leave Leslie alone I don't know and probably you can you can see this and say like oh my god this guy is so dramatic and that's true uh, that's something that I discovered since I stopped smoking that I can be a little bit of a hypochondriac so I'm still working on it uh, so yeah, dude, uh, that was the reason why there was no videos, uh, but I promise you I'm gonna be making more videos now that I know that I'm not gonna die anytime soon. <sighs> anyway, I have to go, have to pack for Yosemite, we're leaving tomorrow.